Advertising agencies are also here in Cologne for the Mexico show, and one of those is global creative agency GVM. Now, that company, not only are they here, they're speaking here, and they're also exhibiting here, and I'm joined now by Robert Anderson. He is the MD, an MD, a managing director at JVM. Now, you, are, you, you have an installation here. Uh, dare I, I'm going to try and say it right, sightseeing? Tell me what that is. So sightseeing, sightseeing is a word play and, and sight is like time in German, so it's like sightseeing but time seeing. And, and what we created is a time machine, a time machine which brings you in a certain time and you can uh, sit in like a nice green chair and then uh, push yourself, zap in the time on very old classic TVs. It's amazing, people love it. Okay, well, I'm a real fan of the 50s and the 60s, so I, I wouldn't mind going back there. What are, what are you expecting people to get from that? So um, we did this to show the people that they can be part of an AI transformation, that they don't have to be afraid of it, and also that AI transformation is nothing uh, only about the future if you don't savor the past. So doing both, going back in time, but also going in future and being in the center of it is the idea of this installation. Well, that's a very clever way of taking a very future idea and then taking it back to a more nostalgic period. And of course, this year at De Mexico, the theme is prompting the future. So how does this prompt the future? So um, you first you have to master the past and then you can prompt the future. This is the idea of insulation. That's a great answer. <laughs> but, but, but if you do this, you at the end, you will come to a point where you become more liquidized and you see, you will like, we become one with the universe. This, so if you want to know what the future holds for you, uh, this is exactly for you. Well, it sounds a little bit scary. I'm not sure I want to be liquidized. <laughs> but um, talk to me about Stables AI. What is that? So, um, because as a creative agency, you have to do, with, you make a lot of um, movie and image production. And we thought, instead of like retraining everything again and again, we made our own model, which is really, really easy to integrate new pipelines. And at the end, it's a big image generator trained with all the experience of a global ad a creative agency. I know there's a lot of wariness in the creative community about new technologies like artificial intelligence perhaps going to replace them, take their jobs so they won't be required anymore. Uh, how do you respond to that? I think, I think if you are uh, a software engineer, the best thing you can do is to coin your software and intelligence because then there's nothing bigger for humans because humans think these animals own intelligence. So, it's software, and software has to be used by someone. And this will be probably humans, so uh, there will be a change in the whole category, but at the end, you need a human to use the software. And of course, the, all of this stuff is being aimed at humans at the end of the day, to help us become better as a species, perhaps. Uh, but you've also been giving a, a talk today, uh, well, I'm not sure if it was you or, or part of your team, but on, on digital creativity. And what sort of things were you saying during that talk? So uh, I, was, I was reminding the people that, that um, um, the artificial intelligence has one big problem, and it's his own innovation dilemma. Because there was not never in the history of time was so much money to put on one bet. And the people are not allowed to lose. And the innovation dilemma is, if you're not allowed to change your path. So there's an innovation dilemma, and there's the idea that maybe in the future, there will something exist which is called the generative, like in all artificial, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, AGI. And if this exists, this will be the last innovation of humanity at all. So the only thing what humans can do and have to do is to become creative again. And I don't mean this in a very narrow way how agencies define creativity. It's really like creating novelty that works. Well, there's a lot of daunting stuff there. Uh, good luck with the rest of the show and thanks very much for talking to us.